Hello, this is Hana. Yeah, the Bible story to pray for the little guy. Oh, don't be afraid because I'm your God. I will make you strong and will help you. Isaiah 41 10. Have you ever been afraid to try to something new? Ask God to give you the courage to be brave like the little kite in the following poem. Yes, little kite following poem. How the little kite learning uh, learn to fly. I can never do it. The little kite said as he looked around at the others high over his head. I know I should do uh, for if I try to fly. Try, said the big kite. Only try, or I fear you never will learn at all. So, but the little kite said, I'm afraid I will fall. So, then the little kite's paper stirred at the high, and trembling, he shook himself free for flight. First, Falling and frightened, then the braver groan. Up, up, he rose through the air above, alone. Oh, how happy I am! The little kite cried, and all because I was brave and tried unknown. Yes. And the Bible story is First Samuel chapter 17, 1 through 8. 58. David was a shepherd. His job was to look after his father's sheep. Some people may have thought he was just a little guy. One day, his dad sent him to take some food to his brothers who were soldiers in a war. When David got to the battle line, he couldn't believe his eyes. All the soldiers were afraid or of a giant named Goliath who was yelling across the belly for God's people to send a warrior out to fight them. No one would go. Then David said, I will go. No, no, king said. But David was full of the courage God had given him. God will win this battle for me, he said. David gathered five smooth stones, smooth stones, and placed them in his pouch. Then, with his slingshot in one hand, off he went to fight the giant. The giant was disgusted when he saw that David was just a boy. Yes, you know the. Teddy bear. David put a stone in the slingshot and whirled it around and around and around. The stone flew toward the giant and hit him in head. The giant top, toppled to the ground. God had given David the courage to fight Goliath and win the battle. Yes, so funny story. I like, I love this story. Yes, the, who were the soldiers afraid of? Did David have a big weapon to uh, fight Goliath? How did God help David win the battle? Yeah, the everyone needs courage doing something. David was courageous about facing a big giant. What do you need courage doing? Just for fun? Yeah? Would it take more courage to jump into swimming like Jason? Pool, swimming pool? Or to wear your pajamas backward? Would you rather say a poem in front of a group or go into a dark room with your family? Take turns talking about how God gave each of you the courage to do something you had been afraid or afraid to do. Yeah, dear Lord, dear Lord, I really want to be brave, but sometimes I feel like that little kite is hard to try. 
something new help me to have courage amen the friends forever friends forever so a friend loves you all the time proverbs 17 17 friends are good to have when you are happy and when you are sad when you play and when you rest did you know that god is always your friend here is a poem about friendship. Let's read it together. Friendship. You are my friend. And I'm yours. We play inside and out of doors. When I am sad, and when I am sad, you hold my hand. When you are sad, I understand. And I understand. Friends forever. I hope we will be till we are at last at least a hundred and the three hundred and three green allies now find out about two best friends in the bible this bible green uh, allies is uh, this bible author writer the bible story first samuel 18 1 through 16 and 20 yes david and john jonathan were best friends. Jonathan's fa father, Saul, was king of Israel. Prince Jonathan would have been the next king, but God had chosen David instead. The people loved David. That made King Saul angry and jealous. He was afraid of David and wanted to kill him. Jonathan heard about his father's plan and warned David. Then he, uh, he helped David run far away where no one could hurt him. Uh, Jonathan even gave David his coat to wear. Yeah, let's go to there to run away. And uh, who, who was Jonathan's best friend? Who was Jonathan's father? Why was King Saul angry and jealous? David must have thought about his friend every time he looked at the coat Jonathan gave him. Here's fun thing to do with your friends to show your friendship. Make a friendship back, uh, back uh, bracelet out of a single piece of ribbon. Embroidery, embroidery uh, floss beautiful thread or paper chains before cutting carefully measure a piece of ribbon around your uh, uh, friend's wrist so it will fit loosely. Remove it from the wrist. Add four inches for enough to allow you to tie a knot. Then cut the ribbon. Now place it back around your friend's wrist and Tie a double knot so the bracelet uh, fit uh, fits loosely. Ask a grown up, grown up to cut the ribbon ends near to the knot. Tada! You made a friendship bracelet. Yeah, <laughs> prayer, dear Lord, bless my friends and help us be true friends like Jonathan and David. Amen. Yeah, you have your best friend. Be kind. Don't ever stop. Don't ever stop being kind and truthful. Let kindness and truth show in all you do. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 3. Chapter 7, verse 7. Yeah. Have you ever let a friend go first to play with a new game or a uh, toy? Hooray for you! Did you know that when you sh uh, show kindness, is it, kindness it not only makes others happy, it makes God happy too. Yeah. When Timmy's mom first told him that uh, they were going to help Mrs. Cobb, an elderly lady from their church, he thought it would be bo boring, but uh, he was wrong. Mrs. Cobb tells uh, wonderful stories and makes yummy pies. Tim, Timmy looks forward to spending time with her. He shows kindness by being polite and helping her by doing things like holding the car door open. Being kind is a good way to show God's love. Yeah, yeah being shown. Kind. 
let's go Bible story first Samuel uh, chapter 31 second Samuel 1 1 through 4 5 1 through 5, 4 and 9 long ago David's best friend Jonathan died after David became king he wanted to show kindness to Jonathan by helping anyone who was still alive in Saul's family David learned that Jonathan's son Mubibuset uh, was crept in both the feet and living in, do, uh, in low devour. David was very kind to Mubibuset. He treated Jonathan's son as if he were one of his own sons and always let him eat at his table. He also made sure that uh, all of Jonathan's property was returned to Mubibotet, and that uh, land was farmed so Mubibotet would always have food to eat. Mubibotet uh, lived in Jerusalem, and David took care of him his whole life. David was kind, very, very kind. It's hard things, but uh, we try to do like that. So, the, who is Mubibosheth? So, how did David show kindness to Mubibosheth? If you were Mubibosheth, how would David's kindness make you feared? Are you manners as la nice as David's? Here's a fun quiz on kindness. Kindness quiz. When someone does something nice for you, you should say nothing. When you are finished with dinner, it is kind to help with the dishes. When you receive a gift, you should say thank you. When you see a line of kinds or kinds waiting, they are turned for a ride. It is kind to push them out of the way and jump in the ride first. Dear Lord, I want to be a kind child and think of others first. Please help me use good manners. Amen. And that uh, do for less share. Do for other people the same things you want them to do for you. The Matthew seven twelve. Tina pulled an apple from her base, uh, backpack. Went to share. Or want to share? She asked Cindy. She did, but Cindy's little brothers wanted some too. What should the girls do? Hey, here's a hint. God wants us to treat others the same way we want to be treated. Read the story below for another hint. Janice didn't want to share her toys. Jenny didn't realize how her selfish behavior made her friends feel until one day when she went to friend's house to play. When Jenny, Jenny wanted to play with a friend's beautiful doll house, friend wouldn't let her. Jenny didn't, not, didn't like not being allowed to play with the doll house. Right then, she decided to decided that she would treat her friends like she wanted to be treated. Now, Jenny and her friends have lots more fun. Yes, and Bible story: First Kings seventeen one through sixteen. Times were hard in Israel. The people had not had being faithful to God, and he was not sending them uh, rain. So God put Elijah near a stream where he would have water to drink and where birds fed him bread and meat. But after a while, the stream dried up. Then God told Elijah to go to a certain woman and ask her for food. Elijah went and asked the Asked. The woman said that she only had enough flour and oil for one more meal for her son and herself, and then they would die of hunger. Elijah told her to cook for him first, and she would be all right, all right, because she had a sharing heart. She did when uh, what Elijah asked and cooked him a piece of bread. Guess what? God made her food last so that so that the woman, her son and Elijah would eat until once again there was food in the land. So the uh, what did God tell Elijah to do 
What did the woman do to help Elijah? What did God provide for the woman, her son, and Elijah? 